Hey everybody, happy Friday, it's Mike Chen. So this weekend, something that seems really terrifying but is actually not will be happening. Uh, what I'm talking about is a Chinese space station called Tiangong-1, which is about the size of a bus, will be crashing back to Earth. And it's supposed to be this weekend, but no one really knows exactly when and, and exactly where this will be happening. Like I said, it sounds pretty scary, especially if you ever played Command and Conquer, where there is actually a super weapon that basically does just that. It sends an old space station crash on top of your enemies. Don't worry, in fact, you, you may even hope that the space station comes crashing down somewhere near you because it's actually supposed to be a really beautiful display, like a fantastic meteor shower rather than anything out of an end of the world movie. But here are some details about why this is happening. The Tiangong 1, Tiangong actually means heavenly palace, it was launched in September of 2011 and it was meant to be a prototype for a permanent Chinese space station which is supposed to launch in 2020. But in March of 2016, Tiangong 1 basically stopped communicating with China space mission control which is located in Beijing and China has never really revealed why and the space station since then has just been floating in space as space junk and right now the space station is about 124 miles above the earth and the reason why no one really knows exactly when and where the space station will come crashing down is because it is tumbling at the moment and that makes it really hard to predict how atmospheric drag will affect the spacecraft's re-entry time and path and if you're still a little worried about the space station actually hitting you well according to a fact sheet from aerospace corp the chances of that happening is less than one in a trillion which means that you will be far more likely to win this weekend's 500 million dollar powerball jackpot than you were getting hit by a falling debris from the space station so maybe this is a good time to buy a lottery ticket also like i mentioned researchers are not exactly sure when this will happen they're estimating right now saturday and sunday which is the 31st and the first at least for the u.s and of course april 1st is april fool's day so i just thought it'd be really funny if like Monday China just sends out a collective global press release saying this whole thing was just really a joke. Also speaking of space junk, there is actually a lot of it. According to NASA, there are more than 500,000 pieces of debris or space junk that are tracked as they orbit the Earth. And they're all traveling at speeds up to 17,500 miles per hour, fast enough for a relatively small piece of orbital debris to damage a satellite or a spacecraft. So space junk is actually quite a problem up there. Also what this means that this will probably not be the last time something comes crashing down to Earth. Anyway, just to let you guys know, also to make sure to keep your eye on the sky this weekend, and if you catch any cool photos, videos of the, the space station coming down, send it to me. It will share it with the whole Beyond Science community. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good weekend.